This video is created for version 3.0 in SellSmart POS. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to add inventory into SellSmart POS by creating a new purchase. Purchases allow you to add products to your inventory. When you are buying phones, headphones, chargers, and etc., you are purchasing items from a vendor. You can enter this information in the software, and once it is entered, you can later sell these items from your inventory. So let's go ahead and create a new purchase by clicking into the new tab and then purchase and here you may select your vendor by clicking on the drop down menu and let's say you're purchasing these items from a new vendor that we don't have already existing in our list so we can go ahead and create a new vendor by clicking on the add new vendor button and let's say we're purchasing items from our vendor Joe so we just enter his name and we also have the option to enter any other additional information such as phone number, contact name, email if they have a website and etc. So let's go ahead and click save to save this vendor and once this vendor is created it would automatically be selected. So the next thing you want to do is add the product to the purchase and you would do so by entering the name of the product in the search product field. So let's say we're purchasing phones and chargers from Joe. So we type in charger and if this product already exists, we would press enter. It will show up in the products window. And if this product did not exist, we would have to create this product by clicking on the blue plus icon. So let's close that for now and let's select our charger. The quantity field allows us to enter the amount of chargers we are purchasing from this vendor. So let's say we are buying around four chargers from this vendor. The unit cost price is the cost price of the item you're purchasing from the vendor. So let's say you're buying these items from Joe for $2 each and therefore 2 times 4 is 8 which adds up to the total. So we can go ahead and click the shopping cart to add this to our invoice. And now let's go ahead and also purchase an iPhone from Joe. So we type in iPhone into the field, press enter and let's select iPhone 5 since it's already out of stock and let's say we're purchasing around two iPhones from Joe and the cost price is $350 for each phone which adds up to $700 in total so let's add these into our invoice by clicking the shopping cart button and since this is a serialized item it has a unique serial number which differentiates each phone from one another therefore we have to enter a serial number for each phone that we are purchasing from Joe so let's go ahead and enter the serial number of these iPhones. I'm just entering random numbers here. If you have a scanner, you can also scan these numbers. And now once these IMEI numbers are added, we can click save. And now our total comes out to be $708. Here we have the option to enter any purchase notes or any vendor notes. And we also have a reference number which is located here. And reference numbers allow you to keep track of the purchase you create in the software. When you purchase items from a vendor, the invoice you receive after purchasing the items can be used to save as a reference. So let's say for example, if you're searching for a purchase in the software and you happen to have the invoice with you, you can enter its invoice number that you saved in the software in the list of purchases to find your purchase in a few clicks. So let's say we enter an invoice number here as an example for future references. And last but not least, you have the option to enter a tax amount and a shipping amount which you can split into the cost price. So splitting the value will split the tax or shipping amount within the cost price of the purchase. So for example, if you're purchasing a phone and a charger from a vendor and it costs you $40 and an extra $10 on shipping. So let's say we enter $10 here for shipping and our total is $718. But now once we click the split value and cost price, the software will ask you if you would want to split the value and cost price. So you would click yes. And now the shipping amount is gone from this box and therefore it is divided into the cost price of the products that we added to the invoice. So since we had a phone and a charger in our purchase, it will divide the $10 we had on shipping based on each product's percentage of the total cost. 
So now that we have added everything into our invoice, we can proceed with our purchase by either clicking the save button or save and close. So for now, let's click the save button. And here you have the option to select your payment out method, which basically allows you to select a previous amount, a register amount or a terms amount. So previous amount means that you're not paying from your register. So let's keep it as that and let's click the save button. And the purchase has been created as you can see here. And that's how you add inventory into your software by creating a new purchase in Cellsmart POS.